Hi, my name is Joel and I've created this YouTube channel to help you learn math. This video is part of a series where I'll be working through every single exercise in an algebra textbook from 1896. And the reason I do that is uh, because it's no longer in copyright and I can work through those exercises. Uh, the way the each video is going to work is I'm going to read uh, the instructive material at the beginning and then work through each and every exercise right here on the screen so you can follow along. Uh, for more information, I'll look at the intro video, which explains the series a little bit more, and that'll be part of uh, the playlist uh, that this video is in. Uh, so without any more delay, let's get started with a first book in algebra, exercise one, algebraic notation. Algebra is so much like arithmetic that all, uh, all that you know about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, the signs that you've been using, and the ways of working out problems will be very useful to you in this study. There are two things, the introduction of which really makes all the difference between arithmetic and algebra. One of these is the use of letters to represent numbers, and you'll see in the following exercises that this change makes the solution of the problems much easier. Um, and so most of these uh, chapters start with a uh, illustration example where they work it out for you. So it says the sum of two numbers is 60, and the greater is four times the less. What are the numbers? Uh, pretty much the whole um, way to work these word problems as we go forward is to let x always be the smaller number when you have more information about um, the bigger number. Uh, so up here it says the sum of two numbers is 60, the bigger is four times the less. We have no information about the less, and that is why we make the smaller number x four times the bigger one, four times, uh, sorry, four times the smaller one, four times the smaller one. So um, the sum means the same thing as addition, 4x plus x, and then from here on down is just a normal algebra problem. 4x plus x is 5x. Uh, divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 60 divided by 5 is 12, so that is the small number, is 12, uh, and then to figure out the big number, uh, the big number is 4 times the smaller number, so 12 times 4 is 48. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get into those exercises, uh, and we're going to follow that same process where we're going to let the number that we have less information about is going to be the variable, and then we're going to add on to it uh, with extra information. So the greater of two numbers is twice the less. The less is what we don't know anything about, so I'm going to make that the x. Uh, and the sum of the numbers is 129. So the greater the, of the two is twice. Twice is the same thing as saying two times. And then see there are the other clue word here is sum 2x plus x is 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 another clue word for doing um, word problems is is means the same thing as equals 129 so now we have 2x plus x is 129 I'm going to go ahead over here to my margin and solve that problem 2x plus x equals 129, 2x plus x is 3x, equals 129, 129 divided by 3 is 43. x is 43, which is the smaller number, and then we just take that up into our bigger number, 43 times 2 is 86. So we have 43 and 86. Okay. All right, number two. A man bought a horse and a carriage for $500, paying three times as much for the carriage as for the horse. How much did each cost? All right, which one do we have the least amount of information about? Um, three times for the carriage. So we have more information about the carriage, less information about the horse. That becomes the X. Three times x uh, for the carriage. Those two together equal 500 because he bought that total. So we know uh, 
3x plus x is equal to 500. 3x plus x is 4x is equal to 500. Divide uh, both sides by 4, and we get x is equal to 125. The thing we know, um, the smaller number that we know less about, 125 is x is the horse. 3 times 125 is 375 for the carriage. All right, number three. Two brothers counting their money found that together they had $186 together. So that means the same thing as uh, plus. John had five times as much as Charles. We don't know as much about Charles, so we're going to put an X. We're going to write what we know about John, five times as much as Charles, and together they had 186. Uh, so we have X plus 5X equals 186. 5 and 1 is 6. Mix, um, 6x is 186. Divide both sides by 6. And x is 31. So Charles has 31. And John has 155. 5 times 31. Number four, divide the number 64 into two parts so that one part shall be seven times the other. Uh, this one confused me when I first worked through it. Um, I think here they do not mean divide because I could not find an answer. I think um, it made more sense to me when I thought split the number 64 into two parts that one part shall be seven times the other. One of the challenges was working with a 19th um, century textbook. Uh, so we're going to take uh, two numbers that add up together to give us 64. Um, one part, that's the, what we don't know anything about, 7 times the other, 7 times. So, um, we're going to do um, 64. divided by x should give us the other part. So um, multiply both sides by x, we get 64 is equal to 8x. Uh, 64 divided by 8 makes x equal to 8. Uh, 7 times that smaller one is going to give us 56. So you have one part is 8, uh, one part is 56, one part is 8. Number 5. A man walked 25 miles in a day. If he walked twice as far at uh, before noon uh, as he did in the afternoon, how far did he walk in the afternoon? Uh, so we have less information about afternoon twice as far before noon, 24 total, 2x plus x is 24, 2x and x is 3x, divide both sides by 3, and we get 8. How far did he walk in the afternoon? 8 is x, so that's all we have, that's all we need. Eight. And if it asked for how far he walked in the morning, then you just saw 2x, that's 16 miles. All right, number six. For 72 cents, Martha bought some needles and thread, paying eight times as much for the thread as for the needles. So we have less information about needles. Eight times for the thread. X. How much did she pay for each? So we know all together 8x and x is 72. 8 plus 1, 9x, 
equals 72, and 72 divided by 9 is going to give us 8. So we know 8 for the needles, because that's x, and then 8 times 8, 64 for the thread. So we just take it down here and we plug it in up to the top. Okay. In a school, there are 62 pupils. If there are twice as many boys as girls, how many boys are there? Again, less information about girls. Twice as many boys. Total is six, uh, 672. So 2x plus x. 672, 2x plus x is 3x, is 672. Um, I'll just keep going down here. Divide both sides by 3. 672 divided by 3 is 224. And we just want to make sure that we're answering what they ask us. How many boys are there? Oh, well, we know the boys is 224. Um, I'm sorry, we know x is 224, which gives us the um, girls, but we want to know how many boys there are, so we just take that into the 2x. 224 times 2 gives us 448. So we just write that to the side, boys girls. Alright, um, I'm going to do the um, s subtraction ones in another video for part two.